Hi everyone! So I have a little bit of a different haul video today. Um, as you can kind of tell, I've very much slowed down on like my wax melt purchases, really just trying to use up and enjoy the scents in my collection. So um, still very much melting and I still have my empties videos that I'm doing, but obviously with no haul videos, I have less videos that I've been posting lately. Um, and same with planner stickers. I just really have not been purchasing any planner stickers recently. So not really any haul videos or anything. Um, but I thought I would do a Sephora haul because Sephora recently had their, uh, what is it? Do they call it like friends and family sale? I know they used to call it that. I don't know if it's just like, VIB sale now um, and it's a tiered sale so if you just have the rewards it's 10% off if you're like a VIB it's 15% off and then if you're the highest tier it's 20% off. I'm not the highest tier I believe I got 15% off and I had made two purchases during the I think it was like a week time frame or maybe two week time frame sale um, so of course you can like use the discount over and over again so that always gets me a little bit i made a purchase the first day my tier was available to make a sale purchase and then i made one more additional purchase afterwards um so i'll share so two different orders which is why i have four samples so i'll just show quickly my samples that i got i think one of them was replaced possibly Yes, I think I was trying to get two like perfume samples in my two different orders, but they must have run out. So they replaced it with this Laura Mercier Mercier tinted moisturizer sample, which honestly I probably won't use. I don't really use tinted moisturizers, but always kind of fun to get different samples. So these are the different shade options included. Um, I just got back from a work trip this week too, so I'm filming this on Saturday the 20th. Um, so I just get, got back from a work trip yesterday, so I'm like kind of tired, but I was excited to come back to my two Sephora boxes. Um, I got the shampoo and conditioner from Sol de Janeiro, which I'm super curious about. I love the Sol de Janeiro body sprays and body moisturizers, so I'm curious about the shampoo and conditioner, so I'll definitely be using this. I got a little sample of the Mason Mar Margella, I believe, replica by the fireplace. Very curious about this. I know in the wax world, um, do they actually, do they have a, a dupe of this in like vendor wax? I'm not sure, but I've heard a lot about this, at least in the fragrance world and I'm super curious about some of these different fragrances so um I'm I don't know it says burning wooden chestnut I feel like I would like it but sometimes burning wood kind of scents can be too too much for me and then chestnut like I don't know it, it depends on if it leans too kind of woody masculine if it's a little bit on the bakery leaning side I think I'm gonna like it but for some reason I feel like this is gonna be a little too earthy woody nutty for me but that's why it's great I'm glad I was able to grab a little sample of it and then this nest New York Madagascar vanilla scent stick so I'm really curious about this um this is what it looks like and I think it's essentially just like a fragrance, um, like a, a little air freshener thing that, oops, came with a little um, thing you can hang it by, I believe. How do you hang this? Is it magnetic? I don't know. You probably just tie this around it and then you can hang this like anywhere, I suppose, maybe in the car or in like a closet anything like that. So my assumption is this is going to be more of a um, body care vanilla, maybe not so much gourmand, but I'm not sure. I'm not going to open it quite yet. I'll probably put it maybe 
maybe in like a closet or something or maybe the car i don't know we'll see where i end up putting it yeah infused with fragrance oil set the mood in your home yes it can be hung in closets or small spaces hi mochi hey mini mouse minnie's growling because mochi's here but i'll show mochi because they haven't been in a video in a long time hey mochi are you gonna sit by me you can calm down mini it's okay um all right so those were my four samples again i got four samples because i got two different orders and they allow you to pick two samples per order so i got kind of a mixture of like body care fragrance and makeup like kind of a good mixture so the first order i placed i got some sol de janeiro products and some summer friday lip balms now i will say my first order, I was super disappointed when I opened it because I'm like, oh man, one of the products was missing. I was like, this is going to be such a pain. I'm going to have to reach out to customer service. Um, but I will say it was amazing and a super positive experience. All I did was like um, chat online with um, a beauty advisor, I believe. And this was like seven o'clock on Friday and they were still available, open to chat. My whole experience took like two minutes. I said, you know, hi, this is my order number. I was missing one product. And the beauty advisor I was chatting with was like, okay, um, send me your address and I will get it reshipped to you. So it was a very positive experience. Like I said, at first I was like, oh man, this is gonna be so annoying, but it was so quick. They resolved my issue so fast and efficiently, like super positive experience with Sephora's customer service. So. I got two of the Sol de Janeiro body creams because I really like them. I think you've seen in my recent empties videos that I finished up some of the smaller sized body creams that they have. Um, and I really enjoyed it. So this was one of them that I finished up and I, I really liked it. I think it'd be a great spring summertime uh, body cream and scent. So I got it in a little bit of a larger size. I think they have even a larger size than this, but I didn't feel like I needed, you know, the jumbo size because I like switching up my body care and fragrances. So I got the Sol de Janeiro Beja Flor Elastic Cream, I believe. So that's what it looks like. And I got this one in the eight fluid ounce size. That's what it looks like. I don't really know if it's worth opening up because... I'm not really going to open the fragrance, um, or sorry, the body cream right now because I'm not, I don't need to open a new one yet, but I'll just kind of show what the packaging looks like. It's wrapped up really nice. And then this is the packaging, very nice and thick um, packaging. I love this pink color. Love it. So I got that. I do not have the fragrance um spray of this one but i just got the body cream and then i also got the newest scent Delic delicia drench body butter i do have this in the spray in their three ounce spray i got this at a different time the spray and i thought you know what during the sale let me pick up the coordinating body butter because i do really like this spray Oh, sorry, I was going to read the um, the notes. So, Beja, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. So the pink one, and it also says it's uh, collagen boosting. This fragrance is, where does it say it? What? I thought it would have said maybe it's in a picture a lush fruity floral fragrance with notes of Brazilian jasmine and pink dragon fruit is what this one says and then this one Delicia Drench again this is like their newest one and this one says, 
um, with notes of vanilla, orchid, sugared violet, and sheer sandalwood. This one is definitely kind of a um, body care sort of vanilla-y fragrance. Very sweet. And then this one's a little bit more floral leaning, but again, very sweet and kind of girly fragrances. And again, I love these colors. I'm loving the pink and purple. So this is what the other one looks like. And these are really nice containers. Maybe I'll kind of rinse them out after I completely finish them up and like reuse the containers for something. Um, in this order, I also picked up two Summer Friday lip balms. So the one that was missing was Vanilla Beige. This one, the uh, box got a little beat up in shipping, but this one is vanilla. So I almost picked up one that kind of had a little bit of a tint, but I didn't end up picking that up because I just figure, you know, sometimes I like just easy lip balms where you don't need to use a mirror and anything like that. I have one already in my collection, which I have right here, which I'll show, which is the vanilla mint, I believe, sweet mint. I love it, love using it before bed. I love the mint because it kind of gives that little tingle on your lips. What I will say is I was so confused. So I'm gonna squeeze a little bit out. I was so confused when I first got this because can you see it's squeezing out from like the top and the bottom? And I was like, do I have a weird, um, a weird one? Is it supposed to do that? I kept Googling like does, and sorry for my sniffles. I think I have a little bit of a cold right now, but um, I was like, is it supposed to do that? It makes sense because if you use the lip balm like this and kind of rub like the top and bottom lip together, it makes sense why it would squeeze out from both the top and bottom. I don't personally use my lip balms like this. I just squeeze it out and then rub it on my finger and then rub it on my lips. Um, that's typically how I use them. So at first it was kind of weird because I had to like rub both the top and the bottom, but I think that's how their lip balms are supposed to come out but I've never seen that before. So that that was the one thing that kind of surprised me when I first used them, but really like it. I love that it gives kind of a little bit of a, um, a shine to the lips, at least the sheer mint one does. So I'm excited to try some of the other ones. Vanilla, I think is also gonna be basically just clear. And then vanilla beige, I think is gonna have a little bit of a um, tint on it. So I got those two summer fridays and the other one should be coming i saw an email that said that they were going to reship my one that was missing and then the last thing in my first order i also got this tatcha um basically this is like oil absorber sheets and my intention was to bring this on my work trip to kind of touch up when i got a little greasy and shiny but it didn't come on time before my trip so now i'll just keep this in my bag for just touch-ups in case i get a little oily throughout the day I in general have dry skin, but after a long day, I'll get oily um, on my forehead a little bit. So this will be nice to just keep in my, my bag. So that was the first order. And then the second order I got, let me just bring up the notes on these now. So the first thing I got is a repurchase, basically a backup of my Sol de Janeiro fragrance in Cheriosa 71. I love this so much. It's so warm, cozy. If you love gourmand, this is gourmand warm. I will say it gives me more fall and winter vibes because it's so warm and rich, but I, I will spray it anytime. This isn't the one I currently have in my collection, so still have a decent amount, maybe about half or maybe a little over half of the product left, but I just thought, you know what? Let me grab up while it's on sale. I wish they had this in the body care, like in a coordinating body butter because I would totally purchase it. I love spraying these on myself after a shower just to kind of give a little bit of a, a fragrance right before bed, but it's so, so good. It says that it is a cozy utopia with notes of caramelized vanilla and toasted macadamia nut. It is so good and you can spray this on your hair or your body. I just really, really love this one and definitely recommend trying it if you love the bakery warm and gourmand kind of scents. So I picked up one of these. I picked up another fragrance set in 
This brand that I've been super curious to try, um, what I will say is I've heard that they're not super long lasting. So again, I think I'm going to kind of take advantage and use these more like after the shower just to kind of like spritz a little, um, a little spray before bed. So this is the Clean Reserve Set Travel Spray Perfume Layering Set. I was curious about this one because they are traveling sprays. I don't mind rollerballs. I don't mind sprays. I don't like when these little sets are the, I think they're called like cuffrets where it's more of a dab. Like you open it up and you kind of have to dab the fragrance on. Those I, I never reach for, but this one I thought was perfect because it's a little spray set and a perfect size. Like you can just add in, add in your bag, um, a good size to try. And then if I like any of them, I can pick up a larger size. So yeah, just been very curious to try this out. So it comes with sparkling sugar, radiant nectar, skin, and rain. So they all just sounded really nice, clean, like the name suggests, fresh. Um, like I said, just curious to try it. But I think the vibe of these are more maybe like a body spray or body mist rather than like a long lasting perfume fragrance. But I thought that this, you know, this amount in size was good for the price as well as it being on sale. So picked that up. I got, this is a repurchase of mine and the packaging has definitely changed. I got the Josie Marin 100% Pure Argon Oil. I love using this on my nails at night and my cuticles came with a little um, sample of a body butter which I'm curious to try because I love bakery fragrances so this is a body butter and vanilla vibes we'll definitely be giving this a try and then this is what it looks like it's literally just argon oil and I like I said I love dabbing it on my cuticles so I can do that now because I just removed my nail polish um, I just love using it on my my cuticles the most so just thought I'd pick this up and it definitely looks different it used to come in like a different bottle let me put that back in here now I can't get this little sample to fit in right so I'll just take that out I got a sunscreen from Tatcha in the silk sunscreen which I think this is new um, this is SPF 50 and yeah, I'm always just looking for different facial sunscreens. I've tried the Super Goop and I don't love it. Um, I think it was the Unseen one, which feels more like a, a primer, kind of that, um, I don't know, it just rubs in. It feels like a primer, but I just don't, like a silicone primer, I think. I just don't like that feeling though. Um, honestly, I've never found one that I love. Oh, this is interesting. So this is what it looks like. The, the top of it so I'll give this a try maybe tomorrow it's supposed to be more sunny tomorrow you shake it it seems like it's pretty liquidy maybe so I don't know I'm curious to see how this how this is and hopefully I enjoy it and use it in the summertime and let me know if you got any of these products I got or if you got anything from the Sephora sale and then here's a couple makeup items I got, all from Patrick Ta, which I've been kind of curious to try. So this first one is a lip gloss, a major glow lip shine in Is She Younger Than Me? I've been super into sparkly lip glosses lately. So this one looked super sparkly and pretty. And if there's any fingerprints on it, it's because I opened this when I got it in yesterday. It looks so gorgeous and pretty. I think this is going to be so nice for the summertime. It's kind of a pinky with a gold shimmer throughout and the packaging is just so gorgeous. Let me know if you've tried Patrick Ta. I feel like this is a very popular brand right now. So pretty. So I'm not going to swatch anything because I'm, I don't know. I want to leave it perfect right now and then I got two of the blushes I've been super curious to try she's that girl and she's vibrant I think these will be especially nice for the summertime because it's got a cream um, shade as well as a powder shade 
And both of these I think are going to be so pretty for the summertime. So again, it's packaged really nice so it won't hopefully shatter if you get it in the mail. Very shiny packaging, so definitely will pick up, oh, you can see my office chair, pick up fingerprints. And then this is the first shade in She's That Girl. So, so pretty. And then it's nice because the powder one, or the, the, what's, the cream one has a little barrier. So when you use the powder, the powder is not getting into the cream or anything like that. So that's the first one I got. And then the other one is a little bit more bright corally for the summertime. Again, same packaging. And this is this one with the little uh, plastic on the cream side. Let me just show them both side by side. Just so you can see the colors. Again, She's That Girl and She's Vibrant is on this side. So this one's a little more neutral, natural for every day. This one's definitely bright coral for the summertime. Let me know. I've been having a lot of fun, again, with experimenting with like makeup, um, body care, fragrance. I've been super into perfumes lately. Um, let me know if you picked up anything from Sephora. Let me know if you liked this haul. I know it was different because usually I do planner stuff and wax melt stuff, but I just felt like, I don't know, I was excited about this order. So I thought, let me just sit down and do a video. Um, I did just make a Scentsy order, so I will have a Scentsy haul coming up. Um, along with my usual wax mill empties. Um, but yeah, I hope you all have a great weekend and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!